Amanda here from createyourfuture.co. So today I've got a really exciting video on how to get unblocked. So if you're blocked, you're ghosted, um, or you're not in constant communication, this video is definitely going to help you. So I'm really excited about it. Jerry's here to help me out with the video. Guys, if you don't already know, I do have a course out create the relationship that you love. It's basically a crash course and everyone is you pushed out and helping you to create um, your new story um, about your relationship. So it'll help guide you through that. Um, yeah, it's for anybody that you want to recreate your relationship with. So you can apply it to your boss, your specific person, your current relationship, your mom, your brother, your sister, your aunt, your best friend, anybody, absolutely anybody. You can apply it to Jerry here. Um, yeah. And guys, of course, as you know, we have a mailing list if you like sales and to find out when, you know, we have new courses launching or new bundles or when Katie's doing a live meditation. Um, yeah, definitely sign up. The link is in the description below. Um, and uh, yeah, we're having a contest. You guys know that. So details in the description. Let's go ahead and post all those amazing success stories because we're a positive community. And what we want to do is encourage each other. Okay. So no matter how small or how big you think your manifestation is, please post it because, you know, it may be like, you know, the smallest thing to you, but to somebody else, they've been struggling with it. And knowing that you did it makes it all possible. That's why we love sharing success stories on this channel because it really shows, you know, that someone else can do it, you can do it. In fact, if you hear of a success story of somebody, say, getting married, you actually created that for them in your reality because everyone is you pushed out. So if you're hearing about people getting married, you can intend and you can manifest getting married because you can manifest marriage. And it's just up to you to change the story in your life, right? So Let's get down to business, guys. We're going to talk about how to get unblocked, how to create constant communication, how to stop being ghosted. So the one thing that I'm going to say right away is if you don't want to be ghosted, never say you're being ghosted, okay? Because everyone is you pushed out and your assumptions are going to create your reality, okay? So if you think of it this way, right? Like just think of any one of your friends, you know, your best friend that you talk to all the time. If you text your best friend and they don't actually text you back in a couple hours, do you ever sit there going, oh, they're ghosting me? Why don't they want to talk to me? No, definitely not. You think, oh, they're, they're going to call me as soon as they're free to call me, right? They're going to text me. They always do. So you want to talk yourself into that same sort of story. Same thing with getting unblocked, right? If you don't want to be blocked, then don't think they're going to block you. Don't assume they're going to block you. Okay. So the first thing you want to dive into is a story of why do you think you're being blocked? What's that old story? Did you say something that they were like, oh, they're going to, you thought yourself, oh, they're going to block me now. Um, did you have a fight? You want to basically revise that old story. So let's say for instance, right, you had a fight with Jerry and you're like, oh, I'm upset Jerry. He's going to block me now. Okay. So the first thing you want to revise is no, you know what? Me and Jerry did have a disagreement. He's very caring understanding and he's very forgiving. He would never block me because he wants to work this out with me. He wants to get along with me. Okay. So you want to revise what it is that got you blocked to begin with. Remember your assumptions create. Everybody's a bunch of little Jerry's out there in your reality. Everyone is you pushed out. I like to say that they're holograms. Everybody's a hologram. And in fact, based in quantum physics and quantum mechanics, they all are holograms. They're just projections of your subconscious mind. Okay. So you're the only one that could be sure that you're conscious in your thinking and everybody out there is just picking up your thoughts and reflecting them back to you. So whatever shows up right in your, in your 3d reality is what you just previously had thought. It's a little bit behind. Okay. So let's say for instance, I'm like, Oh, Jerry blocked me. Then he'll block me. Then I'm like, Jerry unblocked me. He'll unblock you. Like it'll go back and forth as much as your thoughts go back and forth. So you want to dump out the old story, write down all those reasons why you think you're blocked or all the reasons why you don't think you're in communication. And then you want to take a moment and start crossing each one out, 
and rewriting a positive intention for it, okay? So normally it'll be the opposite, right? So Jerry's mad at me. Nope, Jerry's happy with me. Jerry doesn't want to talk to me because we had a fight and I upset him. Nope, Jerry's a really forgiving and understanding teddy bear and he always wants to talk to me and work things out with me. Um, you know, Jerry never wants to talk to me again. Jerry always wants to talk to me and he'll always be in my life, always willing to communicate and to be with me, okay? So you want to dump out that old story and you want to change it around. Now, though to add on to that what you actually can do which i highly suggest is start when you got that list start adding to that positive list of what are you going to see hear and feel okay what is going to come through what are you guys going to talk about okay um what why do they want to talk to you you want to change your story about that person and start adding in there what are you going to see hear and feel you can say i intend to feel good because they text me daily, okay? I intend for us to talk about this. I intend for us to talk about that. I intend, you know, or however you like to say your affirmations, you don't need to, need to use I intend. Little tidbit, I use I intend because it takes that fight away from my head. So like, for instance, if I don't think Jerry wants to talk to me and I say, Jerry always wants to talk to me, and my head will be like, yeah, right. Um, if I say, I intend Jerry wants to talk to me, and then that it just avoids that fight in my head for me. So use what's comfortable for you though. Remember guys, intend means goal, plan, aim. Doesn't put it in the future. It's present tense, right? Um, yeah, so I mean, those are, you know, some of the biggest things. Now, um, I'm gonna touch a little bit on, you know, basically the manifesting a text now. I mean, one of the big things that I see and I hear about when it comes to manifesting a text is somebody will say to me, look, you know what, I just can't manifest a text from him. Okay, so why can't you manifest a text from your specific person? I don't know, I keep intending, but they, they won't text me. And then my question always is, well, are you willing to text them? And they're like, no, no, I won't. Okay, why not? Okay, well, I'm scared of rejection, okay? Right there, okay? If we're not willing, okay, to go out and do it, then and they're not, they're, they're you pushed out. If you're nervous and scared of rejection, you're projecting that out and that's gonna stop them from actually messaging you. I remember years ago, I was coaching somebody and this is actually a very common story. And um, they said, well, you know, I, I'm too scared. I don't wanna reach out. What happens if they don't text back? What happens if they don't wanna talk to me? Okay, well, we need to change that story. So we change changed that story to where they were comfortable enough to actually reach out and text them. And then finally one day they said, oh, okay, I'm going to reach out and text. And she reached out and texted them and the person texted back going, oh, I'm so happy to hear from you. I was worried you didn't want to talk to me and I was scared to text you. Ah, do you see the person that wanted to, to initiate the, the texting was scared, scared of rejection. And when they finally did talk themselves out of that story and send that first message, that person messaged back going, oh, it was so scared. I, I was scared you wouldn't want to talk to me. And, you know, so both of them were scared, right? So I'm not saying, you know what, go head on, you know, send a text, set yourself up for rejection. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, is change the story. Change the story enough where you're comfortable okay, to send the text, okay? Because if you think about texting them and you have any emotion other than, you know, absolutely thrilled, then, you know, or comfortable with it, then you're gonna get that reflected back to you, okay? So you don't actually need to send the text, but you do need to reach out and say, you know, reach out and, you know, within yourself to get yourself comfortable to reach out, okay? Because you get what you give. And if you wanna reach out, that's okay. Remember, whatever comes back was reflection that you were putting out anyway. So. Guys, I intend that this video helps. Thanks for your help today, Jerry. I intend you text everybody out there, buddy, including me constantly, and you unblock me. Guys, you know what? I intend that everybody got something out of this call and that, yeah, you create something wonderful in your life today. So thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.